정말 열광하네요. 네. 네, 안녕하세요. 서경원 캐스터, 거신 캐스터입니다. 안녕하십니까. 네, 2011년 펩시 g s l 드라이 어우, 반응이 굉장히 좋네요. 파이널 대마의 결승전. 임재덕 선수와 황강호 선수의 결승전인데 지금 임재덕 선수가 1대0으로 앞선 가운데 저는 so 양 선수의 부모님과 함께 이 자리에 나와 있습니다. 자, 임재덕 선수의 어머님입니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 어머니 어, 긴장을 많이 하신 것 같아요. 네, 긴장됩니다. 네, 자, 임재덕 선수가요. 벌써 세 번째 결승 무대 올랐습니다. 이게 굉장히 기쁘실 것 같아요. 기분이 어떠세요? 아주 기쁩니다. <웃음> 네, 정말 기뻐하시는군요. 자, 다음 질문입니다. 어, 그동안 두번의 우승을 가졌던 임재덕 선수입니다. 네, 근데 이 임재덕 선수가 이번에 황강우 선수를 만나게 됐어요. 이 황강우 선수에게 하실 말씀 없으신가요? <웃음> you have any comments to share? 어, 선수가 많이 노력을 해서 이렇게 이 자리까지 올라오긴 했는데 그래도 재덕이 못 이길걸? <웃음> I know that you practice a lot to be in this finals. 어머님이 방송을 처음 하시다 보니까 좀 긴장이 된다는 점 이해해 주시기 바랍니다. 자 다음 질문입니다. 그 임재덕 선수가 아, 지금 좀 많이 긴장한 표정이 보이고 있습니다. 이 아들에게 응원할 수 있는 응원 메시지 부탁드리겠습니다. 멋진 아들, 멋진 경기 보여줘서 꼭 우승하고 트로피 받아가지고 와. He says, please show some great games today, and I hope you win. And I hope you become the third champion. Yes, I'm. Next, we'll meet the son of Hwang Kang-ho. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 거기다가 oh, 굉장히 다정다감합니다. 집에서도 그렇습니까? 예, yeah. 착한 아들이고 음, 좀더 열심히 해서 우승을 했으면 좋겠는데 잘 모르겠습니다. 네, 자 이번에 마지막으로 민감한 so 질문입니다. Nice 임재덕 선수에게 And she hopes that, that he wins today. 임재덕 선수는 well. 지금까지도 몇번 우승한 한 걸로 알고 있는데 오늘도 참 잘하는데요. 우리 강호가 더 잘했으면 좋겠습니다. 네, 근데 솔직하게 말씀해 주셨네요. 감사합니다. 자, 마지막으로 황강호 선수에게 응원 메시지 부탁드리겠습니다. Um, 황강호 화이팅! 화이팅! All right, this is good luck to him. 네, 저는 임재덕 선수의 어머니 그리고 황강호 선수의 선수의 어머님을 만나 봤습니다. 이현주 캐스터 나와 주세요. And we're back. We now know what the moms want. Artosis. That's what we know. We now know it. You know, it's probably normally our, our desks, our hands are covered up. Now I feel I have this like. What a, do we do? I could be like a muppet. I could have like this Kermit the Frog hand. We like have a guy like that this. dances. This? Can you do that? Oh, look at you! Oh, you're actually good at that. I want to like beatbox while you do that. That's pretty good, man. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Um. So we know what the moms think, but more importantly, what are your thoughts going into game number two, Artosis? Ah, <sighs> you know, uh, Nest T is so godly. I was thinking that this would be a very close four to two. Uh, really well, good games. It's but pretty tough to really dominate that hard in a mere matchup. Nest T didn't even trick Lucira. He just yeah. completely understood everything better. Yeah. Uh, it was like it was like if you could go back in time and play somebody in the beta. Unless, no matter what, you're uh, just gonna you just have a better yeah. understanding of the game. Now, unless. Right now, Lucera is thinking to himself, oh, I, I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I just did that. And yeah. I can't believe I thought like that. Unless he's thinking that right now, I'm suddenly thinking, oh, my God, this is going to be a 4-0. <laughs> well, it, it, it makes me wonder what their games look like in practice. Obviously, Lucera has beaten ST, beats ST, but how much, how often is that? Does it's that like happen? once. <laughs> yeah, this is like it never actually happened, Nick. No, you're wrong. Um, excuse me. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Ah, he's nasty. I don't know. It's kind of scary. I mean, that is a tough map to play on as well in Zerg versus Zerg. Belcher Beach is actually the most eliminated map uh, in GSL. Yeah, people do I not mean, really it, like to play that map. Now that we don't have steps of war anymore, <laughs> people don't like to play against Zerg on it, especially. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I mean, it's Zerg versus Zerg. Maps are gonna matter some. 
Uh, you have to play really is bigger impactful ones. if it's like on a, rota a rotationally symmetric map. Yeah, that absolutely can be. And just the size of it, I guess, overall. You know, you're on a map like Terminus Re, attacking is like a very hard option to have. Right. Yeah, you're going to have to make some units so that you can't be attacked by yeah. someone dumb enough to attack you. If that makes any sense, uh, but the Terminus Re game should be interesting too. I'm gonna I'm like that game. That. That's map four, I believe. I think so. Taste some putting on the spot. Is I that know, map I'm four? Like, Taste less. I'm like, uh, yes. I'm just gonna say yes. I believe it is. It's map five. Hope you hope you wouldn't do that to me, Artosis. I actually have no idea. Um, this is this is pretty huge if, if Nesty wins this. And somebody's getting married, I guess. No, it was background. It was I, to the female commentator. Oh, really? Yeah. I want some Mary Tasteless signs. You're gonna get some now, Taste. I know. Said that man. What have I done? We uh. Oh, look at that. Those are uh, the Korean uh, GSL shirts they're giving away down here. Yeah. I, I I'm just so happy. What? I'm just so happy. This, this is the biggest week in esports. I, this is a huge weekend, man. This yeah. is like what I live for. I'm gonna be. I'm casting GSL, which already kicks so much ass, and then I'm gonna go watch MLG and Evolution. Well, after this, I'm gonna go to the arcade down the street. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're going Fighter, on a mandate, Street Fighter. And then going I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna watch the MLG rebroadcast, which you guys should too. Are you gonna at MLG my Pro. I'm letting you know my Blanca did not cut his toenails. For weeks and months, and I know. Years. Man. They're going to be sharp when I do my low, fierce kick and trip you. I start doing mix up. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm like jumping around like that. You don't know which side I'm going to be on. You're going like this with the joystick. <sighs> well, I got to tell you, Tasteless, I've uh, I've got some new Smurf accounts in StarCraft 2. Starting playing a lot now. Yeah, I'm about to get another Smurf going account. down, Tasteless. We're going to have some oh, PvP matches. I this should week. actually explain what a Smurf account is because a lot of people don't know that. Oh. Uh, Smurf account is where you make an account uh, that's not on your ID. Which is basically almost always what our toast is for hiding. Playing. Yeah, so that way we can just play and train, and uh, yeah, not have people post replay. LOL, I just I own need tasteless. So, um, something's going on back there. Oh, somebody looks like Lucera. There's Lucera lookalike in the crowd. All right, Lucera lookalikes, man. I wonder if you play Zerg. I bet his Zerg doesn't look anything like Lucera's. No, no, that's pretty hard to do. Um, again, and I know I, I'm going to be saying this several times here, but I'm saying it several times because I want you to do it several times. Please get on Twitter and hashtag uh, the GSL. Yeah, we want to get that trending, I mean, guys. I, I, I think Go a lot of do people that. don't understand, like, actually how much that, how good that is for the GSL if we get that to be a trending topic. When we do that, everyone in esports collapse. It doesn't matter what tournament yes. you're involved with. They're all happy because the fact that the esports community is growing so big that we can do things like that. It, that's and, it's gigantic. And you know, if you see a trending topic on Twitter, then you're you're like GSL. What is that? Um, then you could people can click on that and find out what that is, and that helps uh, esports proliferate. So please, please go ahead and do that. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Somebody just did that, and they reopened up the window, yeah. and I was there, and I winked at them like that, and they're like, no, <laughs> it's it's like each one of you has the potential to lay a creep tumor on Twitter. Oh my God, that's a really good way to look at you. You're so smart. You're so clever. Thanks. All right, it's time now to move on to game number two. Now, Lucera, I don't know about you, but I'd be a bit shaken from a game like that. Well, I would be like, wow, that game feels pretty much like my opponent is better than me. You know, I think Lucera is aware of that. But, uh, again, I feel like if he's not thinking to himself, oh, I know exactly what I did. Why was I that dumb to do that? Then he is in so much trouble, Tastes, because this guy on the left, Nesty, three championships. That's what he's going for, Tasteless. And not just that, but greatest player in the world. I mean, if you win three GSLs, we, we just have to give you uh, that title, best player in the world. All right, it's time. Let's go on to game number two. Can Lucera come back from this, or is Nesty going to continue to dominate in the server search series? Let's find out. Here, head-to-head -head in the finals. Cast by Tastes and Artosis. Tastes the Gas and Archon here at the GSL, brought to you by Pepsi. <laughs> like the Micro Machines guy, you just keep going. <laughs> they talk so quickly. I'm like the scat man. In the upper right, it's our second one-on-one -on -one map. We have... <laughs> Nesty. There he is. Such a badass, such a baller. 
He is so loaded from all his GSL winnings. In the bottom left, the teammate of Nesty, the underdog. He is. Rusira. I love cast the GSL. Brought to you by Pepsi. Supposed to gulp it. Go, 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 go. I can gurgle it. Mm -hmm. Well, now, we do have a pretty quick pool here by Nesty. Interesting to see. Lucira, though, his pool is reasonably quick. If he had gone hatchery first, this build from Nesty would be pretty scary. But look at that. Oh, I'm loving that, Texas. And as this Overlord pops out, gonna be able to make four links. And I'm interested to see if he's gonna make more than four. He's starting that queen right away. Oh, and he's going back into drones. Very interesting. Oh, that was interesting. ST. I like yeah. that. He just peeked with the, uh, the drone to see if there's a hatch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he doesn't even go into the bait. He's like, all right, I want to get money now. I'm going to send my drone all the way back home. Yeah, and now it is time for the links to come out. And that's that's just four very quick links. Of course, Lucira's pool is finishing up. And he's going to probably make four links. That's normally what you do in ZBZ is you open with four links because then you can hold everything. His speed is going to be quicker, but... Of course, the queen of Nesty is much quicker. So, yeah. uh, you know, this is this is actually such an interesting build to me from Nesty. It's the, the very quick queen, of course, going to give more transfusions and allow him to try to catch up on drones quicker. Right, but it, he also it's, gave himself... He, he might be able to get some drones here. This is really going to interfere. Uh, it's going to cause a hiccup uh, in the mining timing here. And he's, he's going to go in there once again? No, excuse me. No, he's not. It's kind of checking it all out. Uh, and you notice that the drone count, not too far apart, one apart right now. And, uh, well, you know, I, I, that was an interesting build by Nesty. It was kind of like, oh, I hope you hatch first. But at the same time, it was not a committed all-in. It was more of a, I'm going to make you cancel that hatch. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to maybe kill a drone or two. You know what's funny is, I feel like Nesty's playing more like uh, Lucira than Nesty right now. The way he's approaching this is just very yeah, technical. It's it's very much not it's what a, we're used to from Nesty. It's a very disarming build. Yes. Now, uh, Nesty's speed is going to be slower, and he's making a lot more lanes, actually, which is kind of interesting to me. Not making a hatchery yet at his expand. He has one more drone by the blurry numbers on our previous screens that I'm seeing. All right, so this is interesting to see an ST now still on one base, uh, but with two queens. Now you don't ah. normally see two queens on one base, so he might actually think Lucir might think an ST is only on uh, has one queen, and then he's uh, rushing to something. But that's not the case at all. And the Roach Horn is going down as the Bainley Nest is being made by Lucira, and speed about to finish. So Nesty now will be able to do things with his lings if he so chooses. Well-timed Roach Warren and Spinecrawler being made in the main of Lucira, so he's a little bit nervous. He wants to be ready. Nice scout there. Yep, that was pretty good. So Nesty does have a slight, um, not a lead. Don't be, excuse me, actually the opposite of a lead. Yeah, it's quite disadvantage. Exactly. I was scared there, Tasis, that you were going to commit to him having a lead. No, 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 no. I was like, I was, trying to, think, I was like trying to think of a fancy word for uh, disadvantage. In the now, we have a bunch of Zerglings here coming towards the hatchery, uh, but these Banelings are going to be perfect to defend that, and Nesty will most likely have to turn around. Well, uh, one great thing to do is send one Zergling in yeah. while they're not looking and try to make that Baneling detonate. That's a great move to do. I would not be surprised if Nesty tries to do that. Pretty and, gutsy here yeah. from SD. Going after that Baneling. And the Baneling does get away, so he still has a Baneling defense. Meanwhile, the Zergling's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that he is. And where are your Zerglings? Oh my god, counterattack oh here. Oh my god, and he has Roaches up. Totally Nesty. denied. He's going to get the Queen. He, got, he gets it. Nesty oh now in a massive Tasis. lead. <laughs> Nesty is so godly, it actually doesn't make sense. He is actually destroying Lucia right now. Now that Lucia's links pop out when he doesn't need them, yeah. ST safe at home with his roaches. Just looking so good right now. But there's a lot of links out for Lucia. I'd love to see him come up and at least try to harass the drone line at the natural. It's very wide open. Never know. Maybe we'll get something. 
Prince Erlings uh, continuing to maneuver around. Evolution Chamber is up here for Nessie. Nessie uh, still again with a massive lead. He may want to keep all these drones actually in his main. Well, you know, Lucera still has some more drones, so Nessie is going to have to... Well, he's starting plus one and getting more roaches instead of making drones. In the meantime, seven, eight drones started for Lucera. And this means that Nestie is probably going to try to hit a timing attack here. But he's getting plus one, so... I, I don't quite good. understand. He might just make Roaches non-stop. A little mistake there by Nassim, but he might make Roaches non-stop until the plus one is done and just go then. That's why that would be is. a really weird time. No, he's starting drones again. I am I am confused by Nestie's play right now. This is very peculiar. He's got a really weird number of roaches. And uh he, I mean, he's catching up on drones. It's, it's possible that when Lucera gets behind like this, he might uh, have done all ins of practice or yeah, something. Yeah, I think it, you might be right on something like that. Uh, but Lucera still has a good amount of drones. He's making his Roach Horn, so he's going to be able to macro that up very quickly. But the plus one will be on Nessie's side. Notice a lot of spine crawlers, he's, though. Can't really attack into that in Roach vs. Roach. You know what's interesting is he's actually pushing Kree in a Zerg vs. Zerg. Yeah. Like pushing it towards his opponent's base. I'm curious how far he's going to push that. Well, you know. One thing that I do like about that, Tasteless, is the creep tumors give you a lot of vision. Yeah. And that's just nice. Other than that, yeah, it's a little You know, bit he bad. might actually be doing that because he saw Lucera building banelings outside of his base and trying to slip in there. Mm. If you just make creep, you could spot for that. That might actually be the angle he's going at. And of course, you can also spot for other kinds of counterattacks, too. Yeah. Well, more and more roaches on the way for Nesty. It looks like he is gearing up for this plus one timing attack. It's a build that. July loves to use quite a bit in his CBZs, and that is many roaches, Tasteless. He's moving out. Is Lucera prepared? Well, Lucera is making more drones as well as roaches. Uh, I don't know. He might want to get some more spine crawlers up, too. And remember, these are going to be plus one attack roaches, so not yep. only does Nesty have more roaches, but his roaches are superior. But there are a lot of spine crawlers here. Spines are amazingly good against roaches. Yeah. We're going to have to see what he decides and to do here. He's now going to be making only uh, Zerglings to follow this up to keep reinforcing this. Here we go. He is almost all in here. And, and Nesty has got to get some damage done. He's got a nice spread on his roaches. The Banelings coming out. Part. Look at that. The Banelings not being all that useful yet. And in fact, he uses them when all Nesty's doing is making Zerglings to come down. Look at this. Beautiful attack. But. The spine crawler is helping so so much. ST may have to move back for a little bit, but a lot of drones came out and a decent number of drones did die here. Here come the Zerglings now. Lucera is wishing he hadn't wasted all those banelings, and ST pushing forward, but has to back up. You know, there was a small mistake in there where there was a spine crawler with like one hit point that he just wasn't attacking for the, va the vast majority of that time. But look, Nesty can't stop now. He's going to continue to reinforce this. Scouting Zergling coming in here to the main to see are there still more roaches and Zerglings coming? He can confirm that yes, there are. Layer on the way, sees that as well. And Nesty looks like he's done the attack. Wow, he's actually. Well, I I'm think surprised. that the next wave definitely would not have worked. So it's a it's a good call by Nesty. You know, he isn't normally known for hitting that exact timing that much nowadays. It's more of a July Zerg build. And uh, Lucera shows us that, hey, you better bring your Nesty builds, man, or I'm going to hold them. Well, we got more and more. Um, oh, interesting. I like the second, second Evo. evolution chamber. You know, he is up in drones just slightly. That was close. Nesty might bring his Zerglings very efficiently. The layer is now done. Roach speed on the way as well as plus two attack, so he's going to stay the Roach path. Then if Lucera tries to tech to Mutalisks, for instance, in this situation, uh, he's got to be careful because then Nesty will have yet another timing to try to uh, bludgeon him. Well, a layer is being started by Lucera. He's also getting 1-1, one, one. but, uh, you know, 2-0 is going to be a little bit better than 1-1. One, one. A lot of overseers. Ooh, we're gonna see some goop and oh, tasteless. He's gonna goop the hatches. Oh my god, this is so handsome. I he love is going this to, strategy. Oh my god, he is actually doing this tasteless. He is gonna hit this timing that he is basing off of stopping larva injects. 
He's going to stomp all the larva injects Watch and learn, at guys. one of the hatches. Perhaps just stall out both for a little bit. This is so beautiful by an ST. Here we go. That hatchery, not going to help with production. Oh and he my stops God. the upgrades. Interesting choice there. And in fact, he's going to go and stop the main hatch as well. Wow. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'm so impressed by Nesty to actually start using this. We've seen this on the Korean server way back. Like, I'm talking way, way back. It was popular for a little bit, but it was normally off of one base where you yeah. just rush to three overseers and just dart in and keep doing that, then try to hit a roach time based upon not having enough larva. I commend ST to use this in the late mid game, basically. He's using this in the finals base. of a tournament as well. Yeah, it's it's awesome to see. Here come the roaches. Now it looks like Lucira is up in drones, so this is going to be a very important attack for ST. Uh, roaches moving out now, but this is a lot of bailings oh with that. Oh my god! And well, this is going to be very important. And he does damage a lot, but a lot of his back here not. sucks for yeah. NST. Oh, there he goes. He moves him up, and he's getting a lot of damage. And now takes more his, his plus two, though, just not finished. It's almost finishing, but he knows his timing. And in he goes. Will he have enough? Lucira has about eight roaches about to pop out. He's got to take out these spine yeah, crawlers. Yeah, he needs to get rid of those uh, ASAP. And he does. The queen's gone. The drones are out. Uh, we don't have the additional roaches out yet. Oh, and he goops oh. it again. More gooping going on, Caseless. And ST, do you have the critical mass? Will Lucira be able to hold on? Brings out the drones. Very smart of Lucira. He needs to do this. He has to hold on at this moment. Now, don't forget, he might have actually gooped the uh, hatchery in the main, too. He may really have, yeah. And it's it's pretty close to the number of roaches, but the zerglings are coming in. Those roaches are once one again. One that's it. GG. That's T. Damn. He takes the short end of the stick like three times that game and works it into a victory. That Holy was tamole. so sexy that zergler zerg we just saw. Oh. I, he actually did. Now, granted, the plus two attack where I didn't finish perfectly, that was a pretty well-engineered strategy. You know, I think he, he just based off the timings that he thought the upgrades were on. It's like, I have been yeah. before the upgrades come in. Yeah. So he skipped his own plus two uh, finishing. Well, Tasteless, I have actually a really good business plan that I want to go over with you. Yes. Uh, you know how you can get, like, a special bag that, like, a camera fits in or... Something like that. Yeah, or like a, like a keyboard bag or something Yeah, like that. it's like a special shaped bag. I was thinking what we should make is a special backpack for Nesty, one with a shape just for a GSL trophy in the back because he's always carrying around GSL trophies. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I thought that might well, be. I think he needs to, you know, for his wheelbarrow that he carries around that holds all his cash in, he should probably yeah. trick it out a little bit, you know, get some rims on that one wheel. You know, you only live once. You're doing well. Nasty, you're basically at the point where you're almost affluent. You're not even rich anymore. Uh, the amount of money that this man has won. <laughs> Dude, he's so loaded. It's unbelievable, man. Wait until he starts going to foreign tournaments, too. Yeah. When he starts flying around just hitting every tournament in the world. It's not even called StarCraft 2 anymore. It's called Nesty. It's called Nesty beating up nerds. Yeah. Two. <laughs> it's better than the first one. Um, man. That was such an impressive Zerg Berserk we just saw. Yeah. I am really, well, really Nesty, impressed. Well, Nesty, the, the way that he worked his way back in, because, yeah. again, he was behind on drones a lot of it. He was His attacks weren't really working. They were doing a little yep. bit, eh. Um, I'm, I'm so impressed by the guy, man. Well, it's interesting because that game is completely different from the first game we saw. Uh, he played an entirely different style. Uh, Nest, he isn't normally the guy that we would associate winning a game with a timing attack. Yeah, yeah. If he hits I mean, a timing, it's because it's that Roach Ling one that he you've always done does something certain. wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it is normally the Roach Ling. The, the plus one Roach, that's, a, that's like a July Zerg build. And if you're really, really good, top, top Zerg, like Sen or like like Lucira, you'll yeah. hold that. And he did. But then Nest, he came back with some funny stuff, Tasteless. Like, well, that was like a plus two timing attack with Overseer scooping the hatches. It was weird. That man. was weird. I've never seen um, that I've never ability seen used, that used like, like that. that. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I'm sure the guys over at Blizzard Tastes are going, ah! 
Yeah, there Team One's it. like going crazy. Like, oh, yes. By the way, cheers to the Team One guys. We know everybody at Blizzard watches the show. They better all watch They better, it. man. What are they doing? They better. They're ruining esports. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, uh, once again, Casey's reminder to get on Twitter and hashtag Twitter. Uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag GSL. GSL. Not yeah. hashtag Twitter. It's like, it it's like sense. shift in three and then GSL. It's very simple. Type some other stuff, too. Get yeah. some conversations going. You guys keep doing this. Come on. Let's get it trending. Let's do it. Nest deserves it. Let's do it. Let's not trend Nest though. <laughs> That'd be, that would actually be so funny. The company's oh, like... Brought, I don't know, man. Nest T's trending on Twitter. I don't know. Then they're going to find out what the GSL is. Yeah. And then they're going to just watch GSL all the time. They should. They should. I don't know what else you're going to do, man. This is the best show on earth. Yeah, that, that this is the is. best TV show on earth. We have baller nerds Battling it out in StarCraft 2. Greatest game on Earth. Yeah, greatest game on Earth, hardest game on Earth. Pretty good. Uh, we are going to have a very quick commercial break coming up here soon. Uh, whenever our Korean commentators are ready, we're actually piggybacked on their on their production. So we don't, we don't wear the daddy pants here. Um, God, it's so good to be cast in these finals. All right, now it's time for the break, so don't go too far away. We'll be back very soon with more GSL. With the sun.